didn't see the kitchen, wasn't asked to stay for dinner, which normally happens when I go around to people's houses. Politics wasn't on the table. That's how Miyuki Hatoyama likes it, at least during dinner. She only wanted to discuss this, her new book, Home Cooking with Japan's First Lady. Her first book in English, she has three in Japanese. She says this one is aimed at an international audience. I picked out the recipes I thought foreigners would enjoy too, and for which you can easily get all the ingredients overseas. And since foreign people like to hold parties at home, I chose the recipes that are suitable for those occasions. You were born in, in Shanghai in China. You, you grew up in Kobe in Japan. In your 20s, you lived in America. How much of that international experience, your life experience, has, has been used in this book? When my husband and I lived in the United States, he was still a student. Dining out at Japanese restaurants was very expensive at that time, so I cooked at home. My husband's friends used to gather at our place, hoping to eat some good food that they never had before, so I entertained them with my cooking. That's why I took up cooking in the first place. Uh, there are some things in this book. I was quite surprised. We, we have a, a photo series here of you uh, preparing an entire tuna, which, which some restaurant chefs would, would have problems with. How, how did you become so, so skillful in doing such, such complicated cooking? In my opinion, big fish are just like small fish. Preparing them is the same. You're a very busy woman. Your husband uh, is a very busy man. How often do you find the time to, to buy ingredients, to cook, and to actually sit down as a family and, and have a dinner together every week? The Prime Minister's office is only two minutes away from our residence, so he eats dinner at home almost every day. As for grocery shopping, I drive to a store once a week. What is, is a Hatoyama family dinner like? Is, is politics banned? I mean, I can imagine your husband's phone going off and, and he has to take important calls. Do you, do you try to have a, a relaxing dinner setting where you're not discussing the issues of the day, or is it a very sort of active, uh, talking about everything sort of a meal? We don't usually discuss politics at the dinner table. Table, and he tries not to pick up the phone as much as possible. I always try to create a homely atmosphere at dinner, no matter how big a political problem is out there. A family dinner is a family dinner. You and your husband meet a lot of, of um, uh, celebrities, dignities, important people. Have there ever been occasions where, where you've cooked for these people at, at the Hatayama family home? Yes, I've cooked for foreign guests quite a few times since we've moved into the Prime Minister's residence. What sort of things do you, do you spend days and days worrying about what you should do, or are you fairly confident that you've got the recipes that you can, you can make them something they're really going to enjoy? I don't cook anything extravagant. My dishes are basically home cooking, and that's what I cook for my guests, the same things I cook for my family. There was a time when, when first ladies, particularly in Japan, were expected to be seen and, and not heard, that, that they were in their, their husband's uh, shadow. Time voted you number one of, of the top ten colorful first spouses, ahead of Imelda Marcus, Hillary Clinton, Betty Ford. Um, do you feel that the role of the first lady has changed, that with, with people like you and Michelle Obama, that you, you need to take more stand, center stage, need to be more proactive? in foreign visits? Just because I became first lady, I haven't changed at all. I'm actually curious about what other people think of me as first lady. You've published books, three cookery books in Japanese. You've now got the, the English version of the book. Um, you've had a career as an actress in, in TV and movies in the past. What plans next in terms of uh, publications or other projects? Cooking. I will probably publish another cookbook, and I'm looking forward to it.
A any particular focus or content for, for the, the next cookery book? Now that I get to travel around the world, I hope to including those cookings that I learned overseas in my next book. I'm a busy person, relatively, obviously, not, not a patch on you and your husband, but I get up at 5 in the morning, work 10, 11, 12 hours a day, come home. What advice would you give me if I wanted to have, you know, a healthy diet and, and cook good food for myself? I think it's best for your health to eat exactly what you want, because that's what your body wants. Though I would avoid eating oiled foods at night. It, it, it's okay to eat some chocolate sometime as well as having the salad? Yes, I think so. <laughs>